Hi, in this video, let's create a simple responsive table. So in the HTML file, we'll be adding the table tag. Within this table tag, we'll be adding the T head tag. Now this T head will contain a row. So we'll be adding the TR tag. This row will contain a total of five columns and each column will contain a header cell. So we'll be adding the th tag. Now the first column will contain the name of the employee. The second column will contain the name of the company where the employee is working at. In the third column, we'll have the age of the employee. Fourth column will contain the designation of the employee. And finally, the fifth column will contain the hobbies. And our header row is ready as you can see it in the browser. Now let's start working on the body of the table. So just below the T head tag, we'll be adding the T body tag. Now the body of the table will contain a total of three rows. So let's work on the first row. Just like the header row, this row will also contain a total of five columns, but this time we'll be using the TD tag. Here, let's add the name John. John works at Google. He is 28 years old. He is a developer by profession. And his hobby is swimming. Now let's add two more rows. So we'll copy this row. And we'll paste it two more times. So let's change the second row. The name will be Linda. Linda works at Facebook. Linda is 26 years old. She is a designer by profession. And her hobby is to play football. Finally, let's make the changes to the third row. This will be Sean. Sean works at Apple. Sean is 35 years old. He is into branding. And he likes to surf. So as you can see in the browser, our table is ready. Now let's add a few styles to our table. So we'll go to our CSS file. Now the first thing we'll do is vertically and horizontally center the table. So we'll select the body. We'll give it a height of 100 VH. We'll set the display to flex. We'll say justify content to the center and align items to the center. Now as you can see the table is vertically and horizontally centered. Now let's select a font family. We'll select the table. And we'll choose a sans serif font. So we'll say font family sans serif. Now let's add a few styles to the cells within the header row. So we'll select the th. We'll give it a background color of 333 and we'll set the color to white. Now let's select the th and the td. We'll give it a padding of 0.8 rem and we'll increase the font size to 1.4 rems. Now let's add a background color to the body of the table. So we'll select the T body and we'll give it a background color of EEE -E -E. and the color of the text will be 555. Now if you look closely, the body has a gray background. However, it's not quite visible. So let's give the body a background color of blue. The table is now clearly visible. However, if you look closely, you can see that each of the cell in the table has a thick border. So let's collapse these borders. So we'll go to the table. We'll say border collapse and set its value to collapse. This looks better. At this point, our table looks fine. However, as soon as you reduce the size of the browser, you can see that our table is not responsive. So let's add a few media queries. So I'll go at the bottom. I'll say media screen and we'll choose a max width of 600 pixel. 
Now the styles within this media queries will target a screen size of 600 pixel and lower. So first let's select the T head. We'll set the display to none as we do not want the head to be displayed. Now we want each of the cell to be stacked one above the other so that the table is now vertical. So we'll select the TD and we'll set the display to block. Now the next thing we need is we want each of the names John, Sean and Linda to be the primary focus. So let's select the TD and we'll only select the first child. We'll give it a background color of 333. We'll set the color to white and we'll align the text to the center. Now if you see in the browser, you can see that the table is moving out of the viewport from the top and this is because we have given a fixed height to the body. So let's change the height to min height. And now our table is completely visible. So let's continue with our media query styles. Now the next thing we need to do is we want to place the respective titles in front of the values for John, Sean and Linda. For example, we want the title company to be placed in front of John. Similarly, we want age to be placed in front of 28. So let's do that. First, we'll work on the title company. So we'll select TD. We want to select the second TD. So we'll say end child second. And we want to add a before pseudo element. We'll use the content property and we'll add the title company. Now you can see that the title company has been added in front of Google. So let's do the same for the age designation and the hobbies. So simply copy this and we'll paste it three more times. We'll change this to three and this will be age. This will be four. This will be the designation. Finally, this will be five and this becomes hobbies. Now you can see that the titles are added in front of the values. The final thing we need to do is add some space between the titles and their respective values. So let's first select the TDs. I'll just make some space at the bottom. I'll select the TDs and I'll align them to the right. Now let's move the titles to the extreme left. We'll select the before pseudo element. We'll float them to the left. Also, let's add a margin to the right. Let's say of three rems. And finally, let's choose a font weight of bold. And as you can see, our table is ready. So on smaller displays, our table will look something like this. However, when you increase the size of the browser, it will look like this. So this is a simplest way to create a responsive table. So that's it for this video. Hope you like it. I'll see you in another one. Till then, have a nice day.